Brandon Jacobs at 6'4", 264, is the biggest running back in the NFL. But how much force does he generate when breaking a tackle? To find out how hard Brandon hits, I'm gonna let him plow me over at full force. I'm gonna take my big body and plow right into him and let people sitting at home on their couches watching the game saying, why did that guy break free like that? Come on, I could do better than that. So let people see that, you know what? No, you can't do that. I'll be outfitted with an accelerometer, which will measure the force Brandon delivers when he hits me. Okay, you ready, John? Three, two, one, go. sensors show that Brandon ran over me with nearly 2,500 pounds of force. But when a defender, like our crash test dummy, moves right toward Brandon, the force is even greater. We've set this up for the dummy to be moving, so we have a closing velocity. Instead of having just his speed, we add on the dummy coming at him. A higher closing velocity means a larger deceleration at impact. Here's the hit. We have just this huge amount of acceleration that occurs all at once. Brandon hit the dummy with over 4,000 pounds of force. That's like getting run over by a bull. And it's 1,500 pounds more than his hit on me. To put his size in perspective, Brandon Jacobs is about 35 pounds heavier than Bo Jackson and Earl Campbell and he's 50 pounds heavier than the average NFL running back today. Incredibly, he's just as big as some of the biggest linebackers in the NFL. Guys like Brian Urlacher and Sean Merriman. Bottom line, at running back, Brandon Jacobs' size and speed is a combination the NFL has never seen. For Sports Science on ESPN, I'm John Brinkus.